Good evening, y'all. Macca Fracker. I know you've seen me here before. In case y'all don't know, I come here to edit my videos and use their Wi-Fi. But no one has guessed the trivia question. Both trivia questions. Y'all all wrong. All right? So let me tell you what the first trivia question was. Uh, well, you know what? I shouldn't reveal that. Because if I tell y'all what I... See, y'all must have misunderstood me. I said the last thing recently, which means recently, the last thing I said I was going to give away. Y'all still have yet to answer that. But I'm not going to give y'all the, the answer to that because I want it to still be a secret. I'm just not going to say nothing until somebody wins and then I'm going to open it up. Whoever guessed it right can say, oh, I knew it was that, you know, but ultimately the answer to that question was it was D alright D the thinnest wide body channel made and I'm going to show you why and I'm gonna sh if y'all didn't know I'm going to show you why it is and the person that said all of the above would be correct but remember I told you it would be a trick question right alright so Number one, I, for A, I said a wagtail bird. Yes, wagtail is a bird. But I said, what is a wagtail orbital? Now, a wagtail orbital is a window cleaning tool. All right? So, that would be incorrect. Just, it's a trick question. You know, you got to really listen to what I say. I asked you what was a wagtail orbital. It doesn't constitute as being a bird. It's a tool for window cleaning. All right? That's what a wagtail orbital is. That would really be the politi politically correct answer. But in this case, I gave you multiple choices to choose from, and only one was the right one. So next we move on to B, a bird that flies around in orbit. Yes, you would think... A bird that flies around in orbit, wagtail orbital. But no, uh, it's not a bird. I was talking about the tool in general. What the tool is in general. What's a wagtail orbital? What it is, you know? So, that scratches that out. Uh, C, it was a swivel tool. Yes, it is a swivel tool. But in this case, it was a trick question because Wagtail only sells swivel tools, you feel me? So that X's that out. If anyone knows what a Wagtail tool is, they know what I use. So Wagtail Orbital shouldn't be the, uh, you know, question uh, because it's a tool to be used. And Wagtail doesn't sell any fixed handles or fixed tools. So, swivel tool will be out of the question because obviously a wagtail is a swivel tool in general. So, that X's that out. Now we move on to E, all of the above. Yes, I skipped D, I know that because you already know. I'll explain to you why. E wouldn't never be all of the above because one overrides all of them. All of those is true. A, a bird that flies around in orbit could be considered a wagtail orbital all right but that's not the case and a wagtail orbital yes uh it could be a bird a wagtail is a bird but specifically if you look at what i said wagtail orbital there isn't a bird called the wagtail orbital so that x's that out you know but y'all get what i'm saying so the next trivia question is going to be listen very carefully now, pay attention to what I'm saying. This is not going to be a trivia question. This is just going to be some how much you know. What is the only tool that Wagtail put out 
that didn't get much exposure and only one tool manufacturer sells it today. Only one tool manufacturer sells it today. And that tool manufacturer is in California. That's a hint. You know what? Heck, I'm going to make it even easier. I'm going to give you all another hint. It's water fed. That's all I'm going to say. And if those who can guess this, man, they really up on their game. I give y'all credit. Because I ain't even know this existed not too long ago. You know, so I commend you for whoever gets this one right. What is the name of that tool? It's it's water fed. And I want you to name the, the model, make model of that tool. Now, Willie's put out a lot of tools. So y'all got a lot of digging to, to go through. Y'all got a lot of digging. Boy, is this ever a goodie. So y'all have your instructions. Go get to work. Mac and frack it. Peace, peace, peace. As you see, we have the wide body channel. And as you see, you see how thin it is? All right. This is how it originally comes. But later on, Wagtail changed their orbitals and put a, um, a thin piece of metal going down this way. And that's the slide clips on so you could have a combo tool or put pads on it. He played around with the channels a few here and there with various models so that you can actually upgrade and mod your Wagtail yourself with just buying the clips and getting it at a later date because some of the Wagtails he set up to do that, the newer ones, the later versions he set up so it could be either or if you're using the orbital or the uh, you know the pivotal with the swivel on the top so there we have it the world's thinnest wide body channel this is what this is wagtails wide body and I found out that this is the best wide body great for commercial because you can go as fast as you want because of the wide body it doesn't splash the water up everywhere, especially if it's a windy day. Because it's a wide body, the widest, it kind of blocks the wind from blowing upward and getting back on the window. With the exception of the ends, it might do that. But if you're doing straight pulls, it doesn't really matter. You'll find out with a slimline wagtail, it would blow back on the window. It has less chance with this because it's wide. That's why I said you can go as fast as you want because it is light, it is thin, and it has the wide body style that most of us wide body people in the industry like. You know, some people like it wide. I don't like it wide. Not like that with that all that thick metal. This is this is as wide as I get and as thin as I get. And that's fine by me. Yeah, I took the pads on. You can take them on and off. So that's the good thing about that uh, mod with the Mormon mop flick pad underneath. What I'm going to do is um, I'm going to water fed this little baby. And I'm going to use this on residential. I got a house I'm going to do tomorrow. And I'm going to show y'all exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick my quarter inch tubing through that hole. It just so happens the handle uh, that I put on here, no, that Wagtail gave me, it just happened to have either or. And as you can see, it used to have a pivot for the uh, high flyer. But I don't even think the high flyer was made then when I bought this. This is an old tool. I had this for a minute. But I'm going to put the quarter inch tubing through here. And I'm going to do it like my, my Wagator water fed. And I'm going to use pure water through here from off the backpack. And you watch how fast I get this house done. I'm telling you. You know how you have two pencil jets on the center of most traditional brushes? Except those two pencil jets you saw that came out of the Wagator, that's going to be my pencil jets. And because this tool is small, that's all I'm going to need to rinse that glass clean. Hey, that rhyme. 
But y'all going to see, man. I'm going to scrub it down. And then I'm going to squeeze it off. And then I'm going to go back up and rinse. Woo! It might seem like it's extra work. But I guarantee you, it's going to be faster. Because I'm squeegeeing the dirt off. Nothing's faster than squeegeeing the dirt off. Rinsing, you can't even rinse dirt off faster than you can squeegee dirt off. Well, at least with me. But, alright, let me stop talking. Mac and Frack and peace, peace, peace. Get ready for that video tomorrow.